So the newest Futures End variant covers are all going to be lenticular. Why Futures End? It's a big event in which the DC universe is propelled five years into the future. So it just seemed like a natural because you can take the image from now and then turn it, flip it into the image of you know what's going to go on five years from now. Whereas last year's was simply 3D and these went over really well. So we thought, well, this time we could take advantage of, of what they call the flip. So in this case, we'd have one image that would flip back to a different image. So you go to the current uh -huh. Superman and go five years later to what's going on. So cool. Yeah. Now explain to me a little bit about the technology. I just like saying lenticular. So what exactly does that mean? It means taking a 2D image and through computer technology, just turning it into a 3D image. It's uh, something proprietary from the guys we use over in Wisconsin. On our end, it's a little different to prepare these than it is to, to do a normal cover where it's just one image, you know, something like this, it's just one image, we throw the logo on and that's it. Whereas this is actually, in this case, you know, you've got this drawing and this drawing. So it's actually four different drawings, one of him and one of him later. And then the background is drawn separate as well. I've got right on screen, we've got this same cover, Future's End Action Comics. It's all done in various layers, starting with Superman. And then you get a background that goes behind him. That's the main background. And then we add a shadow for these panels. And there comes the Metropolis background right there. So that's what we call flip one. Okay. And then you get the trade dress. Futures End logo, Action Comics logo comes in. Most importantly, DC Comics logo. Uh-huh. Can't forget that. <laughs> and then, you see how we flip back and forth. Nice. But what's cool is the, the background. You've got Metropolis normal, mm -hmm. and then it flips to, to the burning Metropolis oh, as very well. Cool. Did you feel like you had to one-up yourselves from the last time you did the lenticular covers? Uh, I think we always feel like we have to one-up ourselves. You know, you don't want to let it rest on your laurels. You know, yeah. Because the fans, the fans know it. What the heck is going to happen next time? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys already thinking? Do you think that far ahead? Yeah, for some of these things, definitely. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm like, maybe it'll be like sculptures. <laughs> Hologram. Ooh, there's an idea. Right? DC All Access is on a little bit of a breather right now, but don't worry. We will be back with full episodes coming back on September 16th. Yep. Uh, my agent actually called me and said the reason that we're stopping is because they hired robots to replace okay. us. Okay, I don't think that that's true, Blair. I think that's what Robot Tiffany would say.